hello there. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're doing something I am very excited for, which is a quarantine glow up. Everybody's done one of these, I think, and I want to because I've not been my best self over quarantine. I've been kind of like wallowing in wallowingness. You're so good at speaking, Hannah, it's amazing. I mean, appearances haven't really been my biggest concern during quarantine, so I would like to stop looking like a potato and look like something else because I would say goddess, but I don't think we're gonna get to that level, but we'll try. First, just like, excuse my hair. I went to sleep with it wet. But that's actually step number one. We're gonna dye my hair. I'm sick of color. I, I know I'm gonna regret this in like a month and be like, oh my God, let's bleach my hair again. But right now, I wanna go brown. So yeah, that's step number one. So I guess we'll go do it. Oh, I need to change my shirt. I do not wanna get this shirt dyed. I like, the Let's go dye my hair. So unfortunately I'm doing it in the room where lighting goes to dye, but um, I mean, I, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, and this is the hair dye that I used. It's by the brand Claire Roll in the shade Dark Mocha Brown. Why do I walk around like this? <laughs> So my concern is that it's gonna be like darker on one side and lighter on the other, but we'll see. Hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Can you? <gasps> oh! Is it bad that all I wanna do is put my mouth on it? That's what she said. I don't understand it won't come off. I think I've, I think I've fucked it. Am I gonna die? <laughs> oh! Help me, I'm dying. <laughs> you know, like when you know something's gonna happen, but it really just doesn't prepare you for when it actually happens. That was really stupid of me. Anyway, let's continue. It says to do it all methodically, but I don't really have much hair and I think it'll be okay. So I'm just gonna... The ancient method that all hairdressers use. I'm like a cake, I'm like drizzling it on. Like I'm an, I'm a cinnamon bun. Fun fact, Lucy actually made cinnamon buns that night and they were really good. I don't know if this is gonna be darker than my hair, so. <laughs> what, why are you just, stop. <laughs> I think I am gonna be really happy with this, but the hairline that I now have is not ideal. Hey. Sorry, but this is actually the hair reveal because I'm a bad YouTuber who doesn't actually film the bits that I need. Yesterday, I managed to convince Lucy to pluck my eyebrows. I also dyed them myself, so if they look bad, you know, it's, it's my fault. There's like a weird gap and like no matter what I did, no amount of dye could cover it. Yeah, it's now the next day for me. So first thing that I'm gonna do today is put a face mask on. So I actually bought this yesterday at Morrison's. If you wanna know, it's the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrogel Recovery Mask. It was really weird shopping. Well, I haven't really been out since lockdown started. So I kind of felt really uncomfortable and nervous and like I was doing something wrong. And that is my experience shopping. <laughs> I hate it when they come into, oh, it's leaking all over me much needed moisture. <laughs> so the next step is something that I'm actually really excited for and it is hair removal, so. <laughs> yeah, I haven't shaved since lockdown started, so that's about two months. So I really could do with a shave, but I'm also gonna be testing a new hair removal cream that I got. I bought it off Instagram. Well, not off Instagram, but an Instagram ad. So I'm very interested to see how it works. It's by the brand Woo Woo. <laughs> nice, nice brand name. And it says that it will make you smoother than a dolphin. So, I mean, that's a bold statement. <laughs> I will let you know how that goes. Also, I did just wanna say, I'm not saying that you have to remove your hair to glow up, but I personally associate how much body hair I have with how depressed I am at the time, so I usually feel a lot better after I've done it, so that is my reasoning. <laughs> yeah, let's go do it. Well, actually, I'm not gonna show you anything, but you know, I'll tell you how it goes. I've never found a hair removal cream that actually works, by the way, so I'm, I've not really got high hopes. <laughs> Five hours later. 
Okay. Oh. <laughs> I am amazed. Obviously, I was very skeptical of the hair removal cream because I've had very bad experiences with it in the past, but that was amazing. I'm shook, honestly, like deep down, I'm shook. So anyway, this is it's a brand called Woo Woo. It's actually like a really nice brand because it's all about feminine empowerment and you know, all of that jazz. So honestly, I'm so happy that it worked, but oh my God, I've never had a hair removal cream work so well. I'm just so excited, I'm out of breath. But yeah, uh, honestly, that was really good and I would definitely recommend that. And that is not what I expected to say. So I've just come out of the shower. Uh, that took about an hour, I'm not gonna lie to you. And it was a fucking workout. Like, I can't feel my legs. They're, they're all like, you know, that's what shaving will do to you if you haven't done it in like two months. Speaking of hair removal, I have decided to put some hair removal cream on my face. So I've never done this before. I've never really felt the need to, but recently I've just been giving myself mustache vibes. So I'm gonna do it and see how it goes. And if it goes really bad, if I get a chemical burn on my upper lip, this feels very bizarre. Also, my lips are really dry. So if it gets on my lips, I feel like they'll probably just shrivel up and fall off. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just did a big stupid. So I went to go wash off the hair removal cream, came back, opened the other container and put that on because it's supposed to soothe you. And I was like, why does it smell like that? I look at it and that's the hair removal cream. So I just sat there for five minutes with the uh, the aftercare stuff on. So we're back at it again. And it kind of stings and I feel like that's not good. So I'm not gonna leave it on the full time because I do not want a chemical burn. And that is that. <laughs> so for take two, it worked as far as I can tell. Why does it sting? Don't put it on your lips. Ow! What's the f Why have I done it again? What is wrong with me? Right, I thought I put the hair removal cream on. Turns out I put this on, waited five minutes, washed off, nothing happened. Yeah. Came back, put this on, and I was like, why does it smell like that? And I read it, and it was the hair removal cream. So I was like, fuck, now I've got to do it again. Then I went and put that, I put that on, then waited, washed it off, came back, and then put more hair removal cream on instead of the fucking uh, aftercare. You said oh. that you put. Now that I've almost burnt my face off, it's time to do my nails. I have bad history with doing nails. Lucy's gonna do it for me, but I have, I, I, I don't know, like no matter how long I leave it, I always manage to ruin them. Like I could sit there for two hours waiting for it to dry and then the second I move it's ruined. I bought these at Morrison's yesterday, seven pound each. this at the time but the battery did actually cut my butt cheek open so can we just take a quick second to say rest in peace to my bum cheek because it actually really hurt i don't know if you can see but this little hole in my face was not there until after i did the hair removal cream thing so as i said zero out of ten would recommend i'm pissed off because i i didn't even leave it on for the recommended amount of time they said um five to ten minutes i left it on for four and it stings real bad so don't do that. Don't do that ever. <laughs> I don't know how irresponsible it is to cover it, but like it's not stinging, so that must be a good thing. I always worry, and I don't know if this is like a thing that people worry about, but like, you know people say that you're gonna glow up and all that, so that's just like improvement from your shittier self. But I feel like I already peaked. I feel like I've peaked and then decreased. I don't know, I worry about it sometimes. I'm like, this is never gonna get better. <laughs> I am like really happy with my hair colour though because the blue, like the pale greeny blue, I really wasn't living for it. I felt like it made me look really childish. And I know like, that's so ironic because when you're a kid, you're not really allowed to dye your hair. And then when you're older, you're allowed to dye your hair, but then it makes me feel like I'm a kid. And there's nothing wrong with that, but like, I, I just want to look more like an adult. Like when you see adults on TV, they don't look like me. They look, I don't know, like less babyish. And I feel like I'm always going to be babyish and it bums me out. Cause I'm like, I want to look like an adult, but um, I mean, it doesn't seem like that's ever going to happen. <laughs>
Okay, that is my finished eye look. It's nothing special. I do feel like the colors kind of bring out the green in my eye, so that's nice. I swear to God, I don't know if it comes up in the camera, but they look more green in real life. <laughs> Sue me. So yeah, that's it for makeup. Hey, so for my amazing outfit reveal, I am literally just going to be wearing this dress. So I'm sorry about the fact that it's literally just on the floor with really bad lighting, but this is just the way life is right now. So yeah, after I put this on, my glow up is basically complete. So my plan is to just pair it with some gold jewelry and black shoes. And yeah, that's it. But I think it's really cute. It's got a really nice little flowery pattern. But yeah, uh, jewelry wise, I've just got this little snack, my watch earrings and then another little snake hey so this is the end of my video um i don't know I, I think we've come a long way from where i started off i think the hair made a big difference like i look so much better with brown hair than whatever that was uh so yeah that is it um i mean oh the best thing about this dress pockets baby so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one okay bye hey um i personally associate i personally associate how much body i how much body i have looking pretty fucking ugly